Okay, so let's get into this haul. That actually might be the first haul clip, maybe. I don't know. This is part two, though. So, like, if there was a haul clip, I don't know if I knew then that this would be part two. But my first, like, couple of haul clips, I got all together by, like, the 6th of February. And it was an hour long. And I was like, yeah, I could wait and put up, like, a two-hour long haul. I don't know how long this will be, actually, though. But... I could put it up, but I was like, let's split it into two so it's a little bit more digestible. But let's go ahead and get into this round of orders. So first thing I'm gonna show you something I got on Amazon. And my vinyl and like die cut collection is kind of unruly, to say the least. So I was like, I need to organize it better and like maybe into categories. So I got these little like plastic pockets from Amazon and I figured that most of my vinyls are can be encompassed by this size maybe I'll get like one plastic pouch for like oversized if I find that I have too many if I have like a couple I might just stick them somewhere so that I don't have to and there's a little like slot for um you could like put a label but I thought I could put like magical ones maybe in subcategories like magical parks magical wizarding ones other ones and then just do different pouches so that whenever i'm looking for them i can like easily find them the other thing i was thinking of doing is doing it like color order but then i thought that that might be like because usually when i'm looking for a vinyl it's for a dashboard that i have a color theme going but i'm not sure let me know if you want to see me doing that in a video and i will film it but I will link these down below on Amazon. I think they were like eight bucks for all of them. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use them all, but these are something that I can definitely use like around the house as well <clears throat> for random things. So those can be found on Amazon. The next thing I have is an order from Paper Muse Crafts, which I haven't ordered from Paper Muse Crafts in a long time. Um, I really love Paper Muse Crafts character stickers, but she mostly sticks to like kits and foil. So I saw that she had these spring foiled scripts. I should have actually asked if I could get one in black, but this has like farmer's market, spring cleaning, dye Easter eggs, bike ride, family photo, plant flowers, pick berries, and hello spring. Uh, they're really cute, dainty, and they are on clear paper. And then this was a little freebie here, super cute. And then while I was there, I figured I'd pick up all of the like little girl stickers that there are. Again, Paper Muse Crafts does do my favorite uh, like person character stickers, but she doesn't have a ton and I don't think she's really coming out with more. But I have these for the boys. I have the like little blonde boy for Bennett and then the little brunette boy for Theo. I don't really know where Lila's hair is going, but I think it's going to be darker like Theo's. So I got all of the brunette ones just to have them. So super cute. And there are a lot of like skin tone hair color options as well. So though that is my order from Paper Muse Crafts. I do have an order from Paper Shire. There's like a little card with my name on it, which is super cute. I love this. Um, it's adorable. There's this card here, which is like a Pantone card, which is adorable. And then I got the Instagram freebie because I use the Instagram coupon code. Which I don't even know why. I feel like I always forget to use coupon codes. Um, but this is super cute. There's also a Facebook one as well. Um, and then this is the all orders freebie. Super cute. And then I got the vinyl players because Nick does like not he's like super into vinyls and his record player and all the things so I thought I'd pick that up for that I love especially the little like um records then there is the theater tickets which are super cute the soft play which I just love this because we have like a ball pit we have like a nugget which that's what that looks like Ugh, it's just so cute and perfect for marking marking playtime with the kids also, I feel like this kind of reminds me of like Lila and Theo, so. And then that one can be Bennett and uh, Theo, which is super cute. And then this one is medicine, which I rarely ever get sick or need medicine, but when I do, there we go. Then there's hair tools, which I rarely ever do my hair, but when I do, or I can mark them like if I go get my hair done somewhere, I don't know. 
Then there's board games. I thought these were really cute. I feel like she's had board game ones before, but maybe not. Um, but I thought these ones were really, really, really adorable. And these are the grandparents, which I just picked up for to have like an extra grandparent variant. I have grandparent stickers that I mostly use from Marg, but I like to have a variety. So that one's cute. And those ones are a little bit bigger. So nice over marking bigger things. And then last, but sweetly not least, I have a Thickums order from Hannah of Planna Hannah. I think I placed this in like three orders and I actually, it's funny cause I got this yesterday and yesterday morning I placed another order. <sighs> Hannah's probably like, what's actually going on? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just like a shopaholic. So I have two un not released as of right now things that I'll show you at the end. There is a journaling card, which I rarely ever keep, but it's super cute. And then there is this freebie here, which is on like a polka dot gold hollow. I actually ordered some of these um, full box overlays in my next order because I basically had this idea and I want to do it for my shop too um, for like the foil bundles I have is I want to take a piece of acetate and then put all the different foil colors like maybe like a label I don't use or an icon I don't use on it so that whenever I'm like foil pairing I can like take the kit and then take the acetate with all of the different foil colors and kind of like lay it on top to see. Um, and I, I did the same, I'm gonna do the same thing from Hannah for her like fun foils. So I ordered um, a bunch of confetti headers. Well, one confetti header sheet in every foil color and I'm gonna take one sticker from them and make my own little like color chart. Um, but I wanna be able to like make my own like foil bundle and I think I picked like my favorite things to do so and i think that this um, full box overlay would be my full box overlay of choice for most of my like pairings if that makes any sense whenever i get this up i'll explain it more um, but i did request for her to do a like script sampler because i think that like with the script sampler you can make you could like make your own little fake foil bundle like with all of the pieces that you need like with enough accents so Hopefully that comes in a future release. I think that that would be super helpful for like making my own little foil bundle with like fun colors that I don't have, like the light blue or the gold hollow to be able to have like a little, a little sampler. So, oh, I, this isn't really it either. So this is the little freebie. And like I said, I have some of those coming. I did order um, the, my like fake foil bundle in gold hollow to use with these in the future. So that'll be coming soon. I did get the, actually I don't remember getting this. I think she might have thrown this in, possibly. Maybe I did get it, but I don't really watch um, award shows anymore. Most because I don't have time. I usually read who won afterwards, and also award shows are kind of a joke, but like I do like the pop culture, like celebrity-ness of it, and like usually watching like red carpets. Um, but yeah, I'll keep this because I do sometimes like, watch them. I think when the kids get older, I'll probably be more into watching them because I won't be as like tired all the time. So I saw somebody on, I think the Facebook group mentioned this like flower pattern in regards to the, um, breakfast dreams kit. And I was like, wow, yes. So I went ahead and picked it up in hollow. Cause I thought this would be really cute with that kit. I don't know if I'll use like a full set of the headers. I might just do seven, but I could honestly just save this. My other thought in like buying the fun foils is to do like a plan a Hannah album where I have all of her fun foils in rainbow order and then I can put all of my extras because like if I buy glitter headers there'll be extras if I buy full box overlays there'll probably be extras and like underlays like I could put them all in there and then have them in there per foil color like for non-core items as just like extras of things that I could pull in um so I could just put like these somewhere so but, you know, if I did use just seven, I could do two spreads with this, so it works. And I'll probably mix it with, like, um, maybe the new Sparkle I think would be really cute, or Confetti, um, or Hearts and Stars maybe mixed together would be, like, an interesting look. Then I didn't even realize that I didn't have any of these, I don't think. Um, I have picked up the uh, Ride ones before. I do have Ride stickers in my shop that are, like, little thing sized. Um, but I want, I, I always say I like to have variety. So even if I have like a work script in my shop, I'd like to pick it up in everyone's shop so that I have options to kind of switch it up. Um, so I did pick up all of the ride ones for Disney World, but I didn't realize that she, did I miss one? 
And I also have like a list of things I need to order. I think I missed number two. So I'm gonna write that down. I actually have usually a, a note piece of paper on my desk for things that I need to either buy or things that I need to pick up at work. So I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put it on the back. I love these notepads, but I'm like, this is not enough lines for me to write my, my wish list. So um, Disney World food number two. Okay. So I'll remember to do that, but I always write like if I'm getting something at work or whatever, I'll write down a little list. So, um, I didn't realize that she had little, um, <clears throat> what are these called? Like food, like the food stuff. Wait. <sighs> yes. So these are like different restaurants. So you have Disney World food one, three, and four. I missed two because I'm like just losing it. Uh, but it's nice to have these to mark eating and I'd like to actually since they're in black It would be cool to like make it a priority to use them all Wouldn't that be cool if I could like use up all of them and have went everywhere? I there's a lot of places I haven't eaten because I've also like, you know I'm like if I'm going to Disney I want to like eat in my favorite places and then I also just picked these up because I don't think I have any I might I don't know I don't know if I have any like uh, parks, I park scripts, and I think this is fun for, I don't know, in black. So I thought that this one was really cute and I like the size for marking like which park you're at. And then I think the rest of this is underlays, which I can, I'll kind of give you like a little bit of a like thought process of everything that I was thinking for each thing, but I don't know. So first things first is I do have these music notes and I thought that this would be really cute with um, the Bridgerton kit. I do already have, I don't know if I didn't do my kit lineup. I should actually do that while I'm sitting here. Um, I have some foil paired. You'll see this in my like kit lineup, but I have the butterfly foil from Crest Press, which I think I'm using like multiple times this year, which is odd, right? And then I have this like, um, botanical too but I thought mixing it with the music notes would be really pretty with the with the um butterflies I'm actually just gonna go ahead and slot it in because like <laughs> it's going there and then I also got these x's and o's which I think is gossip girl yeah um I did get this because I thought this would be cute to Matt to uh do like every other like bougie and then the xo's I thought I got other oh wait wait wait, wait. just kidding <gasps> duh it was a bigger one I'm cross it out here's number two Number two is a big daddy. So I don't, I, I didn't lose my mind. Um, I thought I got it in other foils, but also like maybe I had like a specific thought process. I think I actually might have been thinking about using it with the kit I used this week, but I did actually switch out for Planahan underlays and I used the heart ones, but this one is super cute and I'll mix it with like a regular bougie box. I only picked up one of those. Then I did get some of the rainbows and I didn't even realize that there were these other small rainbows. Whenever I did Lila's birth spread, I, I got a rainbow one, but I totally would have gotten one of these teeny ones. I don't have my planner near me to show you that one, but I really like these tiny rainbows and there's two different ones. There's rainbows and then there's um, Haley. So yeah, so they're just like slightly different, but I really love rainbows. I think they're so pretty. Um, one's like chunkier and not as wide and this one's wider and like a little more spread out and not as chunky. So again, I just picked up one of each to mix with a bougie box and I think that these are really pretty for like basically any like summer spread, baby spreads, anything that requires a rainbow, which I could constantly find reasons to just throw rainbows on everything. Uh, the next thing that I picked up was Travis. Yes. And this is a like cheetah print. I had initially picked this up and I was going to do one of these, one of the bougie and then these. I initially picked this up to use with the Wild Thornberry set. But then I was thinking since I'm using with that one. With that one, I plan on using this cheetah foil bundle from Maggie Caress Press. And I was thinking that... Double cheetah might be a lot. So I actually went back and in my next order, I did purchase zebra and giraffe, I think. I'm not sure. I purchased two of the different animal prints. Um, and I think it'd be cool to do like a mixed print and then you have the cheetah and then the two other prints. Or maybe they're both zebra prints, but like different kinds. I'm not totally sure to remember. But I'm pretty sure it might've been giraffe and zebra. But I thought that would kind of give it like a less like full-blown cheetah everywhere look. But 
I can use these in another spread faux show. Um, and then I did pick up <laughs> a lot of these. I did pick up these C friends because I wasn't sure there's so much in this. It's just insane. Um, I wasn't sure what my plan was for Theo's birthday spread at this point. And then I had like a lot of epiphanies in my last haul with the Crest Press foil bundle um, that I saw. And I actually just recently ordered another one just in case I need it. Not that one, this one. I think she calls it Steel Blue in Shop, which it, I guess it's kind of steel blue. So I um, decided that I'm going to use this blue color. And I have a lot of different foil. These ones, these two are a little bit lighter. This is from Mine and Crest Press. I might end up pulling them out because they are like the same color and I could use these in a future look. Um, and then I might like just take these bougies out and then switch them out. Um, and then I'm going to probably pair this also with silver because I don't want to use this like honeycomb thing. I think it reads a little bit too, um, it reads to be Timmy for some reason. I think it's cause it's in the pattern. Um, but I'm going to split it up with silver bows because I also want to use some silver items. Like I have this, um, you'll always be my baby. And then I have some birthday stickers from adorably Amy designs and then some like leftovers from this crest press. But I thought just adding those two boxes would give it a little bit more of a birthday look. Oh, there's those, the full boxes from that foil bundle. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I, I picked all of this out after I think actually, since this was like multiple orders, I might've ordered like these in one order and then ordered these after to like see if they'd match. I don't know like what my thought process was, but again, I'll just throw these, whatever I don't use, which I honestly think you really could have used any of these. I don't remember. I think this was like light purple, hot pink, hollow and silver. You could have used any of these with this kit and I think it would have been really pretty. Um, personally though, I think I'm going to go with the light blue because I do think that it is a good enough match with the Maggie's like steel blue. I'm going to also just slot in this silver cause maybe I'll want to do like a mixed metal moment cause I am doing mixed metal in the spread. So not sure, but I'm just going to stick all of that together then. And then these, I'm just going to save because honestly, you never know when you're going to need those. I could even honestly use the two fish friends. Hold on. Let me show you what I could actually use that with. And I think it would actually kind of look kind of cool. And then I'd use like silver as like a base foil. I think you could use those with Merbabe. Actually like that would be kind of cool. And then like use silver. I think those are actually really close. Like this is like almost the same color as the like denim and then this hot pink. I'm going to put these in here as like an option, and even the hollow. Like maybe I want to use just these two. I don't know. We're going to put them both in here because I think all three of these match. So I'm going to try and use those with that kit. I think it'd be really pretty. I'm really just doing all the pairings. And while I'm here, I also do have some quote overlays. Um, they're Bridgerton ones. So I'm just going to slot these in while I'm here with the Bridgerton kit. So there's eight different quotes. I probably won't use all of them, but I probably would actually save them because there are going to be like a bazillion more seasons. I think that's all that I have to pair right now. So thank goodness. Then I did just pick up some in black just to have because I do like the look of black, like black um, underlays. I think it's a cool kind of vibe. And these are like unfoiled then. I did order unfoiled like gamer ones in my next order because I kind of have like a whole new idea for what I want to do with Avery's birthday spread which I'll just show you real quick just in case it's not up yet and you haven't done it and you want to like inspiration of like other pairings I was going to do lavender hollow and hollow but I'm also doing that a lot this year I've noticed so whenever this came out this is the black square hollow um I think it was just lovey dovey on youtube or on instagram was like, oh, you sh oh like the that'd be really good with the gamer kit. And I'm pretty sure that she meant like the bright gamer kit, which I do think would look really good with. But one of the accent colors in here is the black. Like it is shown quite a bit in this kit. Um, and I don't, like my mind, I went to the, the colorful gamer one and then I was like, but also wait, with level up, that'd be really cool. Um, so I do have some hollow, I think black with hollow matches. And then I ordered some black gamer underlays to kind of have different options as well 
but I think I'm gonna switch to that because I think that would kind of be like cool and edgy and then bring out more of the black. Um, so yeah, I like just having black as an option because there's a lot of kits that black goes with um, and it could kind of give it like more of an edgy look. So I got this one in Kisses, which is just a bunch of X's. I don't personally think of them as like Kisses. Um, I think it's just kind of like a cool background pattern. Then there's Grid, which is probably my favorite. I think it's very neutral and can go with anything. So I picked up four of those. And then there's Scratch, which I saw Hannah use. I, I probably wouldn't have actually looked at this otherwise, but I thought this was kind of cool for like a more modern type thread, like maybe like a modern home kind of thing. And then last but not least, I did pick up the Taylor Swift quotes. <coughs> I need a drink. It's like really early in the morning. Mm. It's so good. My chai needs to be this color. It's so beautiful. Um... Taylor Swift quotes. I know Hannah doesn't like Taylor Swift, but honestly, like, I love Taylor Swift. For a long time, I kind of was like, meh, about Taylor Swift. I loved her so much whenever I was, like, an early teen, and then I feel like it went really poppy for a while, but then ever since, like, Evermore and um, Folklore and then all of the Taylor's versions have been, like, really bringing me back. And, like, the 10-minute all too well, like, is my probably, like, 2021 jam. Um, I just love Taylor. So, these are the quotes that she did. And then I saw somebody on her Facebook group give her a list of, like, four more sets of eight quotes or something. And I need all of them. And I think Hannah does plan on probably using those. Um, but I picked them up in gold and then like maybe the next ones I'll pick up like in silver and hollow because I feel like Taylor Swift quotes can go in anything, which is really nice. I actually might cut this like down the middle and then I can put it in with my regular quotes. Um, I just love Taylor Swift. So I will love to have those on hand. And like I said, they're very like neutral, I feel like. So I could just like throw them in a random spread. So I'll probably pick up the other ones in like maybe like one in gold, two in silver, two in hollow, something like that. Um, and call it a day. So that's, oh, oh, no, no, just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. So these are some things that haven't been released for purchase yet, but have been released as a sneak. I don't know if they'll be available yet or they'll be available within the next coming days whenever you see this. Um, but the first thing here is the Baby Shark and it is for full box overlays in hollow. I'm not using hollow, but I'll definitely still keep these because like, <laughs> They're so cute. And I'll probably do something else Baby Shark theme in the future. I like to reformat kits and then have them for like other people's birthdays as well. So you'll probably see me use other ones. Like I want to reuse the Two Infinity. I for sure want to reuse the Barbie kit because it's like iconic and like it's going to happen. And then I'm reusing Sprinkles this year. So I'll probably reuse Baby Shark and I'm going to keep this to have. And I think the hollow would really look cute with that baby shark kit, but I requested those. And then I also requested these as well for something I have coming very soon. If not, you might have seen it already. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but Flavor Town. So uh, one day I was talking to Hannah about something. I don't remember what it was, but she loves Guy Fieri. I mean, who doesn't love Guy Fieri? Like, I feel like he's just kind of like an American sweetheart. Do you know what I mean? Um, but also my best friend Brie loves Guy Fieri. She actually had, I don't know if she has it now cause she moved, but she, I, one of her friends house sit for her like years ago and they put up in place of a, one of her frames, a picture of Guy Fieri. And I think that like the joke was they didn't notice it for a long time. And then by the time they noticed it, they didn't want to take it down. And then they tell people that they're related. And like, I think that Denver, like they told Denver it's uncle Guy. So I really want to use what I have going on with this for Bree's birthday. But I think that what I have coming could be good for anybody who loves Flavor Town, Guy Fieri, Diners, Drives, and Dives. Uh, could be good for Father's Day. It could be good for Mother's Day. I mean, if you like food, I mean, food is just like everyone likes it. Um, or like 4th of July. Just saying. Um, so I requested Flavor Town overlays. So there's that. And these are in red. I probably will pick them up in gold hollow though, but I could honestly do a mixed metal moment with it. I might, we'll see. And then this here, Hannah said that she couldn't find like the perfect flame. So I actually extracted the flame that Jess drew from one of the papers that I have and put it into a pattern. Well, it's like basically in this pattern, but you know what I mean. So this is a pattern by Jess in uh, Hannah's shop. So 
this will be coming soon as well and it's called so hot and it has just a bunch of flames they're kind of cool like almost like very like tattoo artist looking flames versus like these ones but i think they like match pretty well um but yeah that it'll make more sense once you see what's going on but i'm like really excited and i think gold hollow is what i'm gonna go with. i think I'd, i have to see what's printed and then i can decide if i'm gonna use red or gold hollow because i feel like but like it's gonna be one or the other but also like orange could work um, or you could do like a classic color, but I think I'm going to use a fun one. I don't know which one yet. Um, it's going to be either probably, um, gold, hollow, red, or orange. So we will see, but that is everything for, where did the other thing go? Didn't I have another shot? Oh, it's under here. Um, that's everything for this portion of the haul. So I have a massive order from Carly Plans. And also while I'm here, I'll show y'all, I did get a new wax warmer. How pretty is this? So they came out with new, Happy Wax came out with new iridescent warmers and I accidentally ordered the blue one because they have the blue one and then they have like the one that has like the bottom that has like the, the like button is like on here and that one's like regular iridescent, um, which I probably would have preferred, but I didn't realize that this was blue and not just regular iridescent. I just thought like the picture looked different, but I thought this was really pretty and it's like so Jessica vibes, Jigger plans. Um, but yeah, I got that and I'm actually going to put it in my office because I have an iridescent one in my office, but this one's just like all around nicer. This one, I don't know if you, it's like this kind of iridescent it looks kind of, it's from Walmart. So it's not like wild. Um, but yeah, I thought I mentioned that I'm probably going to start doing all of my wax hauls in my like melting basket videos. And I think I'm going to do them bi-weekly and put them up on Saturdays. So there might be one up prior to this. I don't remember what the plan was. I think so. I think bi-weekly sounds like a good idea. And then I'll just kind of like start to get to know like what I, how much I melt in there. So I placed this Humongo order and I used Hannah's code um, for 15% off, I think. So this was Hannah's freebie. These are all on like a vinyl mat. This is the February freebie, the 15 plus three week freebie, the 30 plus freebie. Yeah, I spent a lot. The 50 plus freebie. And then I think I purchased these Target Bullseyes just to add like an extra option to Targets. I do have quite a few um, Target stickers though. So I don't need a ton, but you know, I always like to have options. So I did order like a butt ton of customs and then some non-customs. I'll go ahead and show y'all the non-customs first. The way you can tell the difference is the name of the sheet is on top and they're kind of like all mixed together let me see if i can find them all i did order a lot of customs i don't think i'm going to need any more customs anytime soon i feel like i am i've crazy went through the customs so here is the non-customs i got so i did get game night so i think there's like five different font choices there's like one through four and then there's like a mixed one so this would be like what the mix looks like so it has like a script with a um like a they're like both very handwritten looking a script with like a capital letters underneath i got the one year countdown the cuddles like scripts i think i have this in the like script one but I wanted it in the like the lowercase handwriting because I thought that'd be a cute option. Retail therapy, which I thought would be really cute. I don't know if I've come out with it yet or it's coming out soon. Um, I have little like Louis bags I thought that'd be cute with. And then Walmart, Gossip Girl, which I do watch. I don't know if they're coming out with the season two or not, but I hope so. And then I got the one year countdown in this font style so you can see the difference here. But I thought that was really cute. I wanted to do more countdowns in my sidebar. And then I got the modern and classic Oops. I got the modern and classic movies, which this has um, like a mix of the scripts. Um, so you can see that there's like this script here and then this one, which I normally don't get anything in. I do prefer just like these ones, um, but I will use all of these and I do like a lot of these movies. So like Crazy Rich Asians, Pride and Prejudice, The Notebook, um, a lot of these. Twilight's so funny. Um, and these are all older ones, but I'm going to try and like eventually one day whenever I have more time, maybe like when the kids are in school, make it more of a point to like go through a lot of my like movie bucket lists and like use those as like prompts basically to watch a bunch of movies because I have 
a couple different like loved ones. I also have a loved one from um, Letters to Apollo and then I have horror ones. I don't know if I'll get through the horror ones because I'm just a baby, but you know, and then these are all of my custom orders. And I realized some of these I probably should have written like make it one line because I don't usually mark this would be more like a fancy label size. I usually mark TVs with a little thing. So I'll probably just use these for season premieres or um, season finales. Same with this one, but this one's like a show that's over. Um, but I should have wrote like, keep it on one line, but it's fine. So, and just like that, then there's DoorDash, which I thought would be cute to like put what I DoorDash like in the sidebar on, on the icon because usually I DoorDash McDonald's <laughs> and I'll just have like the McDonald's icon and then do DoorDash next to it in-laws lord of the rings for the new lord of the rings show or watching lord of the rings movies other way for 90 day other way darcy and stacy um stress which is me all the time oh that one's not a custom i just didn't pull out now um bridgerton happy endings which is which is over takeout which i told kirsten kirsten was like oh can you make me um like request a doodle for um what's it called uh, curbside which has like a car in the back and I was like you know what I was thinking this reminds me of is I wanted to order more takeout scripts because it's cute to like take one of the bags whether it's like Long John Silver's Wendy's Burger King Panera we have in and out Cane's all the things and put a takeout script next to it because I feel like sometimes it's kind of redundant to do like a McDonald's bag and then like a McDonald's next to it and I was just telling her that that might be a good idea is to do like a curbside script and then have like a Target bag next to it. But then also I don't need scripts for as many things like that I have the takeout bags for. So love that. Then there's FaceTime with N birthday, which I thought I could do like one of the foiled names that I have above it from Randy.Plants because she has like mixed sheets, customs, and foil with T for Theo. Desperate, I got for Desperate Housewives. Um, which is supposed to be coming back and also I kind of want Desperate Housewives to be like my treadmill show and I want to rewatch Desperate Housewives. Degrassi which is also supposed to come back I think next year and on HBO which is awesome. Tell All for 90 Day Tell Alls, WTF for those moments. Uh, take Out another one because you never know when you're going to need it. Um, Mad AF which is me all the time. Before the 90 for 90 Day. Good Doctor and Dollface. Um, Good Doctor comes back soon, and Dollface just oh, had a new season premiere on, I was Hulu or something, um, but I'll be watching that. And with B, Jersey Shore, which we love, and I'm excited. Riverdale, same thing, Monument for a food place that I eat, Fortune Garden for another food place that I eat a lot. Then In-Laws over at the In-Laws, Cuddle with Nick and Cuddle with Nick, and these are two different ones I might I don't know if I ordered yeah I might have ordered like what I did with these is I put like the capital letters in the order and then I put these in lowercase underneath it so I might have done the opposite so that is a super super cute and I just feel like I went custom crazy at Carly Plans so that is my order and all of my 100 million freebies from Carly Plans and my wax warmer I bought so I'll talk to you in the next clip Okay, so I have an order from Hannah and I wanted just to open it. I feel like I don't have a lot of like open orders with anybody. I had so many at the end of, what's it called? The last month and I haven't placed any orders recently, but I did place an order with Hannah. She did have like a sale going on too. So here's like the little card. And then I bought a bunch of stuff that I was like, okay, I need this. And I had like ideas. So basically i feel like with hannah's orders i'm always like i have like a story for everything but there really is a story for everything so let me like literally a story for everything oh my goodness what am i doing with my life okay so basically i had like lots of ideas here so let me let me get through this i don't know she might have thrown this in here. Or maybe I bought it. I honestly don't remember. So here's the freebie for the kit. Everything has a story. Everything has a story. And I feel like that's why my hauls have been so long is because I don't know when to stop talking. This one here is a like a freebie with like gamer stuff on it in gold. So that's cool. So I'll definitely use that. And then I have this here, which I don't know if I ordered or she threw that in here, but this is like games. Maybe there was like some kind of sale going on with like game related things on it, but I definitely will use these. Oh, I'm not even in like frame. So 
games in black. Then I bought these because basically for, I feel like I always do this. I'm like, all right, let me bring out my kit binder. So let me zoom out. So basically for, do, 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 the wild thornberries kit, right? I had planned on using this foil bundle from Maggie. And I was like, okay, I bought the cheetah print ones, I believe, from Hannah. And I was like, all right, I'm going to use them together. And I was like, yeah, I could do that. But wouldn't it be cooler to do two different animal prints so that I have three animal prints going on? So I'll have the cheetah and then I'll have the giraffe and the zebra. And I think like that whole vibe is going to be epic. Do you know what I'm saying? Like having all three different animal prints together is going to be really, really good. Then I, while we're on the subject of things changing, I have Avery's birthday kit, which is right here, which I'm actually going to be filming after the next one I do. And I changed my mind. And I think I mentioned in my last video or somewhere that I was using the black with the square hollow thing. And I was like, oh, I have these like, and I'm going to do like a mixed metal moment. And I feel like these are great and all. But I thought it'd be cool to have as an option a black because I think that with having, there's no like black in the kit. I think doing black like underlays would be cooler than doing the hollow and then it would pop and then having all the pastel like colors laying on top of it. But who knows, it might change my mind. So I'm just gonna leave the other ones in there. But I did get Let's Game and Gamer and then these ones are in Chris. I feel like any of them are like a good option but I think that these are kind of cool in black so I got those and then I also have all this stuff which I showed you in a different haul so I'm not gonna talk your ear off about that so that is my thought process there then another thing I was thinking is I had initially ordered gold for this kit which is Captain Jack because I hadn't seen it printed yet and I asked Jess and she was like gold which I do think gold works and I could still use gold so I'm gonna leave it in there because I might change my mind I don't know but I was thinking that my preferred color choice would actually probably be matte bronze or silver or maybe gold. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But basically what I wanted to do was pick up the Pirate's Life ones in black because I feel like this in black and then having matte bronze as the foil color would kind of be really pretty. So that was my thought process there. You can see that I kind of like think about things a little bit when ordering but like kind of then change my mind so we're gonna stick those in there i don't even know i'm gonna use that kit but it's gonna get used sometime and then last but certainly not least i did also decide that i was gonna try and put together so i have a kit coming out i don't know if it's come out yet or not but basically um here is the underlays that would be going with it is this gold yeah on gold hollow and then I'm probably going to order this in gold hollow as well. So I want to be able to make my own foil bundle from Hannah if I want to use like a fun foil color from her because she does have quite a few different options. So my thought process was is if I can come up with like a base to the foil bundle, um, that would be cool so that whenever I'm ordering stuff, I know exactly what to order. So my thought process here is I have these already, which are coming out came out I don't know who knows check out Hannah's stuff and then I bought these in gold hollow to make my own little foil bundle out of because I don't know if my gold hollow matches perfectly I might check but I honestly just don't know let's let's go ahead and just let's peeky of let's see if the gold hollows are the same here's my gold hollow I only have it in celestial I think they're they're actually pretty dang similar so I could like mix them together I might have something else in gold hollow too I'm not sure oh yeah I have stars too which would be kind of cool with the theme we'll see we'll see but I basically want to have like a like a an album like this of Planet Hannah fun colors and then I can put my extras in there so back to the topic at hand I wanted to have like a foil bundle kind of set up and I feel like this is kind of it for me this could be switched out but I think this is gonna be my core I requested in the like April um, request for like a script sampler with like the most popular scripts on it so that I could order those in the colors too and then so and also mini icons I don't know if she has mini icons but that'd be cool like these in mini I feel like she does but I don't know what they're called and she has so many listings so I got the icons I got the um 
the reinforcer holes. So like these in particular and these, I probably wouldn't have to rebuy like that many of the, but every time I do a spread, I'd probably need like something along the lines of that. And then I have the icons, I have the date numbers. I don't remember what font that is, but they come in all different fonts. And then I have the confetti headers and the confetti full boxes. And these, I feel like are kind of a lot to just do like these on every single full box. But I feel like I could totally trim like a corner off and then do like two corners on one, two corners on the other, four corners on one, do like split it and do like a double box, split it and do a tall box and kind of sprinkle them throughout. I might pick up like a stroke if she has a stroke. I think that'd be a nice one to have. But basically I wanna have an album that has like all of her fun foils and then have like my basics. And then like, you know, whenever I use this, I could just put it back in the same one. And then for that, um, I think this is the like the simplest bow. Um, I think that I'll probably use with that kit. So that's my thought. And then I kind of wanna add if there's a simple stroke outline for my like faux foil bundle, a mini icon and a script sampler would kind of make it golden. And then I can just save the pieces for future spreads and so on and so forth. Which brings me to my next idea, which was sometimes, and I wanna do this for my shop too, is I wanna be able to see the foil color before ordering with the kit. So basically my thought process here was is I'm going to take I think that there's enough for me to like sacrifice one of each of these and put it on a piece of acetate and then I could have like a little color guide let me see if I have a piece of acetate so I can tell you what I'm thinking okay so my thought process is I think I can one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah so I can sacrifice one of these right and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little guide. And I'm probably gonna do this for my shop too. So that what I can do is, is I can take out a kit, this is just like an example page from Peeps. And then I can just like put the foil on top and like see if it goes. I don't know if this makes me lazy or a genius, but it's one or the other. And then I'd be like, oh, I wanna use whatever color. Or if none of them go, then I know and I don't buy one and be like trying for it. So basically I would just take all of the colors Probably should put them in like rainbow order like Hannah has them on her thing so I'm just gonna wait but that's basically my thought process and then I can just put this in that like album and then if I'm like shopping for a specific thing I'm like okay which color is gonna work and I can just go up and down and you can kind of see through it this design and pick and see I forgot to put my clip mic back on but I'm sure y'all can hear me um can see if it matches or not but I thought that that was kind of a cool idea and I might do the same thing for my shop so that I can see kind of what color matches the best. But that was my thought process. So I bought all of the confetti headers and all the different colors. Um, and then I figured I can get a use out of them and then still have like a couple extra and then I'll just save them for future. But I thought this was probably the most neutral item that I could definitely use in many spreads. So that is my order from Planahanna. And yeah, that's everything for this portion. Okay. I have a few minutes before a FaceTime and I'm sitting down at my desk and I was like, I have happy mail. I am so excited. I have not ordered from Sparkly Hipper Co or Fox and Pip in a minute and I'm very excited. And then I also have Maggie, which I order from like every five seconds. So it's not like super exciting, but also very exciting. So let's open this real quick. And then whenever I'm on my FaceTime date, I can put it all away. I've been having so much fun planning. I mentioned it like 10,000 times, but y'all like, it's a love reignited. So here is the freebie here, which is just the regular like, thank you freebie. I love the little DoorDash. So there's this one, which is the star rating, which is zero out of 10 and 10 out of 10. So don't, do not recommend and recommend. That was really cute. Love that. And then I have the crumble cookie box, the it's fine fires, which I love the coloring that Amanda picks because they're always like very usable and like very muted which I feel like goes with many spreads and then there is the food dash these are quite big but I feel like you could cut them and still see the like door dash symbol and it says your order is on the way super cute we love door dash I used favor for a long time which is an Austin I think brand and I feel like they just were always like taking forever and didn't have enough drivers so DoorDash has been where it's at. And then there's the Sonic drink. 
super cute. And then I did get the This Much in the Kidders. So I have the blonde one for Bennett, the brunette one for Theo, and then the brunette one for Lila as well. I think her hair is going to be brown. She looks just like Theo and Theo's hair is darker. And I think, I think by this time, um, Bennett's hair was lighter than it than Lila's is. So I think that they're both gonna have dark hair. And Bennett's hair is even darkening up quite a bit from what it used to. So I think his hair will be dark before we know it too. So then I have an order from Sparkly Paper Co. Ashley. Here is the journaling card. Um I again haven't ordered from her in a while either. But I saw she had new releases. I feel like, honestly, a lot of the reason I, like, forgot to order from people is I feel like Instagram sucks so much. And I don't see anybody's stuff on my feed whenever they do new releases or they just won't show up in stories or whatever, which is super annoying. So here are these Sparkly Hollow. Um, this is an acetate. I got some acetate, some vellum. This is a Sparkly Hollow Castles. I got the acetate with the Lux with the... Um, Snowflake. So this one's like manufactured, so it's like a little bit thicker. And then this one is like printed um, at home. There's actually like missing stuff on it, which is weird. And on this one too. So it's gold and then like a sparkly gold, but I'll still use them. I'll just kind of, it doesn't really bother me too much. So there's those. And then there is the um, more acetate. These ones I think are all manufactured, so there shouldn't be any issue with those. So there's a Sparkly Hollow Luxe. Mickey ones are gorgeous. So in Sparkly Hollow, Hollow, Silver, Gold, and then I got the regular Magical ones in Gold, and then I got Vellum in the String Lights, in the Candy Canes, because I thought I was, I thought, I think maybe for my second half of the year, I might do like a Christmas setup um, for like Lila's first birthday kind of thing. And then I also got the Lux Plaid, which is really pretty in the vellum. And then also the Lux Castle in this pretty, like, kind of retro colorway. And then for, this was the freebie. And then I got some vinyls. So I got the 2022, which I thought was really cute. And then these are Mickey and Minnie Gingerbread, which are adorable. And then I also got this, which is Home is Where the Magic Is. It's just like a small sticker, but it's perfect. And then I got these, which I had to LOL. And I was going back and forth between the small and the large. And I don't know what possessed me to get the large ones. Um, I don't think that there was like a sheet size annotated. But I wanted to use these in the like corner of my planner. But obviously that won't work. So I'm just going to save these and probably reorder the small ones. Um, I'm sure... Oh, actually these look cute on monthlies. Like especially like if you have... Um, like the Aura Stell, um, what is it called? The Aura Stell, like the Annie Plans collab. This would be really cute for that monthly. Or if you're using like a B6, but also if you want something just like a little bit smaller for an A5 wide, this would work really well too. I really like the black, but I definitely will be going back and ordering the small ones because I think that that's like a really cute look, like the um, the Lux print on there. So that is everything from Sparkly Paper Co. She also has candy now too, which is really good. It's like the freeze dried kind. So definitely check her out. And then I have a small order from Maggie of Crust Press. This was a mystery kit and I normally just get them if Jess drew them, but I loved this one. I thought it was really, really pretty. And it's kind of like a very like retro vibes, like a natural retro birthday party. And I thought this would be really nice for like an adult kind of birthday party. I feel like I, I usually don't do a lot of customs in my shop for birthdays unless they're like my kids. And then I usually do like one that's like has it a more adult feel for January mystery. But it's always nice to have like an extra one. I think this would be really pretty for Breeze if I already didn't have a kit for it, or maybe like Amanda's birthday. Um, I think it's, it gives me very spring, summer birthday vibes. But this is exclusive art because it's a mystery kit. So I was like, I need it. And I really like the colors that were picked. I like this like kind of like poopy green color. I just think it's a real vibe. Like I just think it's a color you don't see often and it's just beautiful and everything. So I got the ultimate one I think or like whatever the biggest one is because the other one was sold out. Um, but I have the fashion options too, which I just love these. I just think they're well done. So that is the kit that I got. 
and I really like it. I don't know when I'm going to use it exactly, but I really feel like birthday kits are one that, you know, I feel like you could, one, get reformats of them because you never know when you're going to need it down the road. And two, you can have enough birthday kits because I feel like, you know, you always have a bunch of birthdays in your planner and something's never going to not happen. And then I think this is the foil that came with the mystery. So I did purchase it. I probably won't, I probably will use the silver or the hollow daisy. She released the core colors of that one and saved this for something else. But I really love this foil bundle and Maggie has so many cool foil bundles coming out this year. Like I don't even know where she has the time to do them all. She showed me like her list and I was like, dear Lord, there's so many. But this is one of the one I knew that I wanted to pick up in all the foils. And this pink is so pretty. And I'm sure that I could find a kit to go with it. It actually might look pretty with... This pink might look pretty with Breakfast Dreams, actually. Mixed with like a sparkly hollow. Or a regular hollow. I think that'd be really nice. So I did get the full kit. Because um, if it's like a fun foil, I'll get the full. Because I need the bougies to match. Obviously. Um, so I did pick up two of these and then whenever she released them in core foils I picked up two of every one I think even including rose because I feel like for some reason like her butterfly and like floral ones I love rose with because if I'm going to use rose it's likely going to be in some kind of florally situation so that will be coming in a future haul or maybe like in the next haul clip because Maggie ships so fast and then I did pick up another one of these I think whenever I ordered it um like either earlier in this haul or in part one of February. I only ordered one because I was like, when am I going to need like a blue foil? But like, I want to have one just in case. But then like once I got it and I realized I wanted to use it with, um, I wanted to use it with the, what the heck is it called? The shark party kit. It's perfect for it if you're looking for one. And then also if you wanted to get like other items to go with it, I made this. I think I showed this in my last haul, but I made these from the Planahanna um, foil colors, they're in order. Her like light blue is a pretty dang close match to this color. So if you wanted to get add-ons that would match, um, it would go really well together. And my closest is like this blue here in the new format. These are all my new format colors, so. Ugh, I'm just obsessed with this idea of putting them on acetate so you can see kind of what it looks like over top of it. I'm just in love. Like, I feel like this blue would really look good with, like, any kit because, like, it's the perfect blue in there. I have Meadow sitting next to me. I feel like this is, like, the perfect blue for this. Like, you could use that. I have Sprinkles. That would be a really fun one to do this blue with. Ugh, it's just a, a vibe, and I love it, and I needed an extra because I will be using it um with the shark party kit and I'm gonna mix I think silver with it because I think let me show you I have it here and then I have all this other blue stuff but I think it'd be really pretty because the 15 millimeter is blue and blue on blue is fine but not my thing for the most part is doing like silver in there and then I was thinking about using I don't know. I feel like this does match like pretty perfectly, but I was like maybe using that and that. And I feel like there's going to be extenders so I could use the extra blue. I'm just kind of like living for it. This is uh, Sea Friends. I feel like it's just going to be so good. There's just so many possibilities and that's the one I'm going for. I just think it's really good. But also with Shark Party, I feel like you could do um, Rainbow. I really highly debated it. The only color that doesn't like match exactly in my opinion is the green, but it's really not that prominent. Um, but you could also use like a light purple. You could use a hot pink if you wanted to bring that out. You could do a, a mix of any of those combos. Shark Party is a kit that I feel like you really need to do something more than just silver or hollow. But if you, I mean, if you really want to do hollow, don't do silver. Do something fun. Um, but if you have something fun that you're like thinking about and you're like, I don't know if I should do it, do it. Because I feel like it's one of those kits that's calling for it. And if you don't, it's a wasted opportunity. So that is everything in this portion of the haul.